speaking with Dr. Larry Eichenfield of San Diego about uh, atopic dermatitis. There's a new topical non-steroidal, Crisaberol, uh, available now. Uh, how do you see it fitting into practice? Well, first of all, we're really excited to have a new, a new topical agent. There's really been no new chemical entity for atopic dermatitis since 2001. Um, so um, it brings some promise uh, to us as physicians to have something new, and I think it'll help to get our patients aware that we have sets of agents now that can really help them control their disease. This is a new type of uh, new chemical entity. Um, it's based on a different pathway of decreasing inflammation. Um, the one that was actually worked on over 30 years ago by John Hannafin in Oregon, where he figured out that a lot of circulating inflammatory cells had um, 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 inflammation that was mediated by what's called PDE, phosphodiesterase E. And phosphodiesterase E4 is important in that it relates to the cyclic AMP that's in the cell. And so basically the topical is set up, when you put it on locally, it blocks PDE4 and it decreases cytokine, to cytokine, so it decreases the inflammation in atopic dermatitis. So it gets very excited to have a non-steroidal agent. The, the safety data so far, both the data in the phase two and phase three studies, and in a one-year study where patients were using it fairly regularly during the six-month to one-year reviews, had very, very clean safety data. Um, nothing from a serious adverse event standpoint that was attributed to the drug. Um, so that makes it very exciting. No atrophy or telangiectasia, as it's not a corticosteroid. So I think having a new, a new, new topical in the oral material that's not going to induce atrophy that um, can be used um, um, w without concerns of corticosteroid absorption um, um, really is, uh, I think, will be important in coming up with regimens of care that will keep our patients in good shape. Uh, parents with steroid phobia, I think, are probably going to be all over this, huh? Yes, yes, I hope. I'm, I'm waiting for the studies under age two to occur. It's approved age two and older. It had a lot of children in the study. It was a very large study. But I do think that, um, um, yeah, a lot of parents will be, uh, will be uh, excited to have uh, something uh, other than the topical corticosteroids and the calcineurid inhibitors. Um, I mean, we still will be using those products regularly in regimens of care and still doing our education so they can understand the safe use of those products, but having something that doesn't have a label in relationship to cancer like some of the TCIs have and not the overhyped concerns of the topical steroid side effects, I think having that other new product will be very exciting.